Space flight company SpaceX will try to make history tonight. For the first time, it will reuse a rocket that's been to space and back again. Not all of the company's more than 30 missions with the Falcon 9 rocket have been successful. Two rockets exploded, costing SpaceX tens of millions of dollars. Manuel Mojorquez is at Kennedy Space Center in Florida with the high stakes of this launch. Manuel, good morning. Good morning from this spectacular site. We're just about 400 yards away from the launch pad. You know, rockets can cost hundreds of millions of dollars, and practically all of them are either destroyed or not recovered after launch. But this one right here is different. It's been to space before. Reusable rockets are vital to the SpaceX mission of cheaper, more economic space travel. Lift off of the Falcon 9 rocket. It may be a used rocket, but SpaceX is hoping this Falcon 9 will help the company soar into new territory. The mission could advance SpaceX's goal of bringing down launch costs and eventually sending humans to Mars. They call it a previous flown or flight proven rocket, but it's a used rocket, so it's going to be pretty interesting. If you can lower the cost for your reusability and other such measures, you'll open space up to more people. Last April, the Falcon 9 successfully landed on an unmanned drone ship before crews hauled it back to Florida to be cleaned up and refurbished. This time, it will carry a communication satellite into orbit for Luxembourg-based satellite company SES. Is there a risk involved in something that is still experimental? No, it's not really experimental. We understand exactly all the testing that's taken place, the design work that's been taking place, and that allows us to mitigate the risk. We're convinced this is a good booster. Although the rocket landed back on Earth about a year ago, SpaceX says it can turn them around for relaunch in about four months. The goal is to make that even faster. As far as doing it as soon as you land, taking it over to the launch pad and reflying it again, we might be a couple of years away from that, but that's certainly the intent as well. The landings can be as dramatic as the liftoffs, sometimes on land, but often on a small floating landing pad. SpaceX has stuck the landing eight out of 13 times. This is a very big deal if they can pull it off, but pulling off this mission is just one step. SpaceX has to demonstrate they can do this routinely and do it reliably so that customers out there will have confidence to put their very expensive satellites on top of a used rocket. And while this rocket's trip could be historic, it will also be a short one, just about eight to nine minutes between launch and landing. Gail? All right, thank you, Manuel.